Your cells might look peaceful, but right now, thousands are self-destructing to keep you alive. Sounds weird? Welcome to apoptosis, death that saves. Apoptosis, smart cell suicide. Hey learners, welcome back to study hour, where biology meets brilliance. If you love decoding the science of life, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's dive into today's microscopic marvel. So what exactly is apoptosis? Think of it as programmed cell death, your body's internal recycling machine. It quietly removes damaged or unwanted cells, making sure things stay neat and tidy. No drama, no mess, unlike necrosis, which is basically cell death with a side of chaos and inflammation. Pop quiz, which would you prefer in your body? I'm guessing the clean kind. Now, let's zoom in on how apoptosis actually works. First up is the intrinsic pathway. Picture this. A cell gets stressed out or its DNA gets damaged. The mitochondria, your cell's powerhouses, sense the trouble. They open their membranes and release a protein called cytochrome C. This kicks off a chain reaction, cytochrome C teams up with APAF1 and DATP, forming something called the apoptosome. Think of it as the cell's death star. The apoptosome then activates caspase 9, which in turn activates more caspases, caspase 3, minus 6, and minus 7. These are the executioners, slicing up proteins to dismantle the cell, piece by piece. But wait, there's another way. The extrinsic pathway is like a hit job ordered by your immune system. Immune cells send out death ligands that latch onto death receptors on the target cell's surface. This forms the disc, death-inducing signaling complex, which flips the switch on caspase 8. And here's the twist, caspase 8 can activate BID, a protein that links this pathway back to the mitochondria, so both routes can tag team for maximum effect. What does a dying cell actually look like? First, it shrinks. The membrane starts to bubble, a process called blebbing. DNA gets chopped up, and phosphatidylserine, a marker usually hidden inside, flips to the outside as a final goodbye wave. All neat, all controlled. But why does apoptosis matter? Well, without it, you'd have webbed fingers, a broken immune system, and tissues that never renew. Apoptosis shapes you as an embryo, prunes away harmful immune cells, and keeps your gut lining fresh every day. Imagine a world without cell suicide, tumors, autoimmunity, total chaos. Now, when apoptosis goes wrong, disease sneaks in. In cancer, apoptosis is blocked, so cells live on when they shouldn't. Scientists are developing drugs called BH3 mimetics to jumpstart cell death in these cases. On the flip side, diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's involve too much apoptosis in neurons. Here, caspase inhibitors might help slow things down. And in autoimmune diseases, faulty apoptosis lets self-attacking cells slip through. But researchers are working on FA's agonists to retrain the system. So, let's recap. Apoptosis is your body's way of staying healthy. Stress or damage triggers a cascade of proteins called caspases, which break down cells in a clean, controlled way. It's cell death with purpose, and it's happening inside you right now. Which part of apoptosis wowed you the most? Mitochondria's death signals, or the drama of death receptor pathways? Drop your favourite takeaway in the comments. And don't miss next week's episode, Autophagy vs Apoptosis Cell Death Showdown.